Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an addendum of sorts to my previous video where I talked about some new things that I had purchased at the end of last year in 2022, as well as talking about my mini no buy that I have going here. I'm just doing a little no buy for the first three months uh, of 2023. So January, February, and March. So after I filmed that video, I realized there were a few things that I forgot to include in that video that I really do want to share with you. So there were a few more things that I did purchase, you know, in the Black Friday sales, I think mostly in the Black Friday sales now that I'm thinking about it, as well as a couple of Christmas gifts that I got and a couple more things that I did purchase in Japan that I really do want to share with you all, as well as a very sad announcement that was made that I did not include in that previous video because I did pre-film that video. And the announcement I'm sure most of you are aware of is that Earthwise Beauty has closed and all of us are very, very sad about that. And so once that announcement was made, I did decide to go ahead and make a purchase from Earthwise Beauty. So yes, I did make an exception to the snow buy that I am on. And there are several reasons for that. I mean, of course I want to be able to have their products for as long as possible. So I did pick up some of my absolute favorites from Earthwise Beauty and I will show them to you real quickly here. And I also want to support them. If you all saw their last Instagram post or got their email, Ava really wanted to give her her employees a goodbye bonus and of course you know just support her in her next step in her journey so let me show you what i did get my last box from earthwise beauty and when i opened this up and i read you know you get this card in every single purchase that you make every box that you get and just reading this card and their beautiful words about their products just made me get a little bit emotional inside so anyway here's what the box looks like i got a bottle of ambrosia du serratu i got a black locust firming concentrate i got a three roses mist and then of course last but not least i got a marshmallow face cleanser so if you all have been keeping up to date with them, they are no longer taking orders. I think they were just completely overwhelmed with all the love and support from you all. So they had to shut down their online shop. I don't know if they're going to be able to take any more orders. I think they were hopeful that they would be able to take some orders at the beginning of February. So I don't know if that's actually going to be able to happen because like I said, I know they're really overwhelmed at the moment and trying to get the orders out, which they're going to complete all the orders, but there is is a backup right now. So if you have placed an order and you're waiting on your order, please do be patient with them because they are doing their best to get to all their orders. So anyway, like I said, I did make an exception for my no buy. This will hopefully be the only exception that I make was to make one last purchase with Earthwise Beauty, like I said, for my own benefit so that I can extend my relationship with these beautiful products for as long as possible and of course also to support earthwise beauty one last time i don't know if there's going to be another iteration of earthwise beauty down the road i really don't know what ava has in store if anything for us down the road let's keep our fingers crossed that there might be something skincare wise or otherwise for us to enjoy from them but of course we do wish ava well in whatever she does have in store for herself down the road but anyway just wanted to let you guys know that I did make one last exception on my no buy. So let's go ahead and get into those products that I forgot to mention in my previous video when I was discussing some new things that have come into my life at the end of last year. I did want to mention a couple of other things that I did get while I was in Japan, just because I think that it's, you know, you all have expressed some interest in knowing what I did get while I was there. Like I said, I did get some clothing items. This is a sweater. I think I've actually worn this in a previous video. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a sweater that I got in Japan at a beautiful shop called Mato Design Works. I picked up a card from them. Everything that they have there is naturally dyed. It is, everything is made from natural materials. Everything is made in Japan. 
If you ever find yourself in Tokyo, I highly recommend stopping by this shop because everything there is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It was just one of those experiences where you're in the store and I was kind of debating about what to get and if I should get anything. And I just kind of hemmed and hawed and I finally landed on this and I was just so happy that I got it because I totally would have regretted not getting anything from this shop and I absolutely love the sweater. So I just wanted to let you know that is one thing that I got. The next thing I'm gonna talk about that I got in Japan that I forgot to discuss in my previous video is this beautiful perfume called Amazing Green from Come to Garcon. In my latest newsletter, which is up by now, by the time I'm posting this video, uh, you can actually go to my newsletter, which is called Trish Notes, and I will link down below how you can subscribe to my newsletter if you wanna read it. I do have a in-depth review and just sort of discussion about my experience with this perfume because it is very linked to a museum experience that I had while I was in Japan, which was actually quite life-changing. So if you're interested in reading more about this perfume and my experience with this perfume while I was in Japan, definitely subscribe to my newsletter so you can read more about it. And the museum that I was in when I had my whole <laughs> profound experience with this perfume and the art that was in the museum was designed by Tadao Ando and I picked up this incredible book while I was there. So anyway, I do mention purchasing the book in my newsletter in the piece that I wrote about Amazing Green and the museum and the Monet pieces that were in the museum. It's called the Chi Chi Museum. Anyway, I do mention the book that I purchased in the museum shop and this was the book that I refer to in that newsletter piece. So anyway, if you're curious about the uh, book that I picked up that I mentioned in that newsletter, this is the book that I was talking about and just absolutely love this book. So moving on to some Christmas gifts that I got that I forgot to mention in the newsletter that I think you all would be interested in. I did get the Bathing Culture perfume. Uh, it's a perfume oil and it is a perfume roll-on. And I am in love with this perfume. It is so, so beautiful. I'm gonna actually put some on right now. It is one of those deeply, deeply coniferous type of fragrances for those of you all who love really woody green fragrances. I will mention to you, of course, Amazing Green, the Calme de Garcon perfume is a very, very green type of fragrance, but very, very different from the bathing culture. Like I said, if you're interested in the review of Amazing Green, definitely go subscribe to my newsletter, but the Amazing Green is really different. Uh, this one, of course, is 100% natural. The Comme de Garçon is not. This one is just really straight up uh, coniferous. Like you definitely feel like you are in a forest. It is very woody and deeply, like I said, coniferous. They talk about a redwood accord in here. There's juniper, Peru balsam, and then they also talk about a damp earth accord. So they don't really talk about specific notes when you go to the website, but it just feels very, I think redwood is a very good way to describe this. If you ever have been to the redwood forest, it just feels like you're walking through the redwood forest. And this perfume doesn't really evolve over time. It's pretty linear, but it does have a really nice depth to it. It does have a richness to it. So you kind of, like I've mentioned before in past uh, videos or past perfume reviews, when I've mentioned kind of that deep earth type of scent, I do really think that they're, whatever they're talking about here in terms of a damp earth accord, I would say they've pretty much nailed that. This really is a beautiful fragrance. If you like the Bathing Culture Body Wash, their original scent, I'm blanking on, is it Cathedral Grove? If you like the Cathedral Grove, and I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, if you like their original bath uh, wash, then I would think you would probably be a fan of this. So I was really pleased to get this. My boys gave this to me for Christmas. They also gave me the Wonder Valley Hinoki Bar. This is their bath soap, their bar soap. And first of all, look at the packaging. I mean, it is just, it is super beautiful. I mean, I just think this box is stunning and just such a gorgeous gift. And let me take out the bar so you can get a sense of what it looks like. It's really, really beautiful. So obviously I have not used this yet. I haven't taken out of the package. The scent is beautiful from what I can tell, just even from it being wrapped up. 
It smells like hinoki. I absolutely love the scent of hinoki wood, which I think is a type of cedar. So anyway, I was just so thrilled to get both of these. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned my boys gave both of these to me for Christmas. So such a beautiful gift. I just wanted to share those with you. And I am a huge, huge fan of this perfume oil. And it actually lasts for a pretty good amount of time. I would say it lasts on the skin for a good three to four hours, which I think is really great for a 100% natural perfume. So moving on to things that I did get during the Black Friday. Oh wait, actually I do have one more thing that I got in Japan. So I think I mentioned in that previous video that I did not get anything makeup wise while I was in Japan, but I had totally spaced out on getting this when I was in the duty free in the airport. So I have been very, very curious about this Hermes Rosy Lip Enhancer for a while now. It is really, really expensive and it's gotten, I would say it's gotten pretty strong reviews across the board, some mixed reviews here and there, but overall this has gotten really good reviews. So I have been really curious about this. So when I saw this in the airport, I decided to go for it. I got it in rosy tan. And I am going to show you a cutaway here so you can see me putting it on my lips. I really do like putting it on with a um, brush, a lip brush. That's my preferred way of putting it on. I do have it on my lips here today, but you'll see it in action here in the cutaway. I will say that I do have several cutaways here and the lighting in the cutaway is a little bit on the green side. I'm putting it on in my bedroom and we do have like a sage green on our walls, which we do want to change out, but we've been planning a remodel for forever, which just keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed. But anyway, the green tone on our walls is kind of making the olive tones in my skin a little bit more heightened. So things are a little bit olive toned in this, in the cutaways. But anyway, you'll see it in action here. I really do like this product a lot. I really feel like it's kind of that your lips, but better, at least on my lips. It really has a nice texture to it. That's all I have on my lips here today. I don't have anything under my lips and I don't have anything over my lips. It is just purely this Hermes. They do call it a lip enhancer. It's kind of got a lip balm type texture. I really like how it goes on. I love the feel of it. I have been reaching for this almost on a daily basis because it is just that great like I said, every day your lips, but better type of texture. So yeah, I really do love this product quite a bit. I don't know if I would purchase it again because it is very, very expensive. It is outrageously expensive. So it's not going to become one of those sort of like everyday staples, I don't think, but I could see my, it's sort of like how I feel about Infiori, you know, sort of one of those, everyday luxury kind of thing. So maybe I would purchase it once a year, maybe a birthday treat to myself kind of a thing or something that I asked for for Christmas, that type of situation. Um, but yeah, like I said, outrageously expensive, but I really do love it a lot. It does have a little bit of a scent. I am very, very sensitive to scented lipsticks and scented skincare you get a little bit of like a kind of that Hermes-ish sort of perfumey scent right off the bat, like right when you put it on your lips, but then it dissipates immediately, which I'm very thankful for. So anyway, that's how I feel about the Rosy Lip Enhancer from Hermes. I got it in rose tan. Kind of curious about the other colors as well, but I'm very happy with this one and I could see myself getting it again in the future. So let's move on to the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. Again, I have another cutaway that I'm gonna show you here. Like I said, the color is a little bit on the olive -y side. It really is enhancing my olive tones here, but you will see me applying it with the Merit brush. I really love this. Uh, I think it's just the only brush they have. I think it's their blender brush. It blends in so well with this brush. I really love using it with this brush, but you'll see how just easily it blends onto the skin. And I just find that it's really easy to apply. It has just replaced any other bronzer product that I have been using. And I think that's why I forgot to include it in my previous video 
video because it's I'm almost taking it for granted. It's so easy to use. I just reach for it almost on a daily basis or on those days where I feel like I need to give my skin some more warmth. So I've just been reaching for this Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. And I forgot to mention that I use the light to medium color, at least at this time of year, that's what's been working really well for me. And it just blends in so seamlessly. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned that's what I have on my face today to just kind of warm everything up when I am really at my palest. And it's just foolproof. I think I've mentioned before that I really do like the Say cream, uh, cream bronzer. I don't know if I've ever talked about any other cream bronzer that I have. I don't really know what else I, oh yeah, I really do like the, uh, the Westman Atelier cream bronzer, which also is really easy to use, but I actually feel like this makeup by Mario one might be even easier to use and it doesn't have any shimmer in it that I can sense. So let me just show you what it looks like in the pan, just so that you can see up close what the product looks like. And then it's just in this compact. So yeah, huge rave for this product. I absolutely love it. And it's really what I have been reaching for, like I said, almost on a near day-to-day -day basis. The next product I forgot to mention is the Say Dew Blush in Chili. Again, I think I purchased this along with the Makeup by Mario uh, Skin Enhancer slash Bronzer during the Sephora sale, November or end of October. I picked this up because I could not resist the color description, which is a cool mauve. I love all things mauve. I do have this on my cheeks today. I'm gonna show you in the cutaway me applying this to my skin. I think I'm using the Sephora 56 blush brush. I absolutely love this brush when it comes to applying cream blushes to my cheeks. I just love how it feels, it applies cream blush so well. I love this for using the Tower 28 cream uh, cream blushes. I love it for the Say blushes. Pretty much anything that I'm going to be dipping into a cream pot uh, or a liquid blush that I just apply to my cheeks real quickly. I'll just show you this one. So if I'm just gonna do a little spot here and a spot here, I'm having to use the viewfinder as my mirror, so this might not be the most elegant application but it just, oh my gosh, I feel like I've got a hair here. Hopefully that hasn't been hanging out on my face this entire video, but oh well if it has. Um, so yeah, I just love using this brush. So if you are looking for a brush that applies cream products, highly recommend this one. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Glossier Mascara. So you guys know that I love the Glossier Mascara in black. So when I went to the website to re-up on that, I noticed that they had come out with the mascara in brown. So I haven't had a brown mascara in forever, so I decided to get the black and the brown. You'll see me applying it here, and I'm only applying it, I think, to, I can't remember which eye I'm applying it to. I'm only gonna show you applying it to one eye because then when I I switched over to the other eye, you couldn't really see it very well. But you'll see when I'm applying it, how the wand in general just really grips my lashes really, really well. So regardless of which one, whether it's the black or the brown, the wand does just such a nice job of just gripping the base of my lash and I just can apply the mascara so easily and quickly when I'm just trying to get out the door. So that's a huge reason as to why I really love the Glossier Mascara, how I can just apply it with such a steady hand. It just grips my lashes so well and it just feels good when I apply the mascara. And I just really like the black as well because it just does a nice job of lengthening, separating my lashes. It doesn't really give these big bomb glam lashes, but if you apply a couple coats, you can do a pretty decent job of getting a nice dramatic lash. But with the brown, it doesn't really do that much for your lashes. It just kind of gives a slight color. And you'll see here too, because all I have on my lashes are two coats of the brown. It does give you just a slight hint of giving your lashes a little bit of something extra. Very natural looking, nothing dramatic at all. So I just don't know if in the future I would get the brown. I think for me, it just doesn't really do all that much. Let me show you 
the black, just so that you can see what the black wand looks like. I think what I prefer is if I just want something really just day to day, I just prefer doing one coat of the black. And then if I want something more dramatic than just doing two coats of the black. So I don't know as if in the future I would get the brown. I think I would just stick with the black and then just doing one little gentle coat of the black if I just want something for the day to day. But for those of you who do like a brown mascara, I think this is a great option. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I did get the brown mascara from Glossier. I do think it's really lovely if you want something very, very uber natural, you really don't like the look of mascara on your lashes, but maybe you have very, very light lashes, so you just want to give them a little bit of color, then I do think the brown is a really, really great option. And then I'm just gonna show you one last cutaway of me applying a little bit more of the Hermes Rosy Lip Enhancer. Because when I was applying all of these products for the cutaway, I did not have any makeup on, I think. Or did I have some makeup on? Oh, I think I just had on the Summer Fridays sheer face tint, whatever that product is called. I didn't have any other makeup on. I didn't have any concealer or anything. And then I just applied the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer and then the Say Blush in Chili and then the mascara. And then I applied the Hermes Lip Enhancer on my lips. So I kind of showed you the <laughs> lip enhancer out of order. So now I'm just gonna show you sort of like the final look with everything on with a little bit more of the lip enhancer on my lips just so that you can kind of see what it looks like in the cutaway with more of it on my lips. So that kind of does it for all of that. And then lastly, I just wanna talk about the Summer Fridays, what do they call this? This is their Lip Butter Balm. And I actually have four of these. I got this during the Sephora sale. They had this in like a gift set. I love having lip balms everywhere <laughs> in my house, in my purse, in the car. So I figured that having several of these, including the minis would be a good thing to do. And I'm actually really glad that I got these because I do really like them. I would say that my favorite probably is just the straight up vanilla. It has a really great texture. It reminds me quite a bit of the Laneige lip masks, which I really do love a lot. I have one of those at my bedside. I've gone through a whole pot of the vanilla and right now I have I think like a peppermint, chocolate peppermint one. I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, but it is in a it's a minty flavor. It has a greenish tint to the pot. Uh, so anyway, I really do love this one. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of that texture a little bit. I like the vanilla a lot. I like that it doesn't have any color to it and the vanilla scent I do really like a lot. I would say as far as a color goes though, in terms of having a tint, I really do like the vanilla beige and I am going to put that on my lips right now so that you can see it. Of course, it's gonna be over the Hermes Rosy Lip Enhancer, um, but that is kind of like the color of my lips. I'll show you what it looks like coming out of the tube so you can see that. There's a little bit too much that came out of the applicator to put all of that on my lips, so. I'm gonna use my finger. So hopefully you can see that it's given my lips just a little subtle hint of a brownish, taupey color, not too dark. I would say that I think the brown sugar is a little bit too dark at times. It's not necessarily a color that I reach for that often. It's not like it's over the top or anything like that, but I think that vanilla beige is just a little bit more of my jam. This is definitely a color I would get in the future in the full size. As far as poppy goes, and I will show you what that looks like. And maybe I can swatch that for you a little bit here. That is pretty bright and a little bit too bright for my lips. And I'm realizing that bright orange corally colors just do not look that good on me. So this color in Poppy is not one that I would get. So I would say for me, getting this Summer Fridays gift set from Sephora was actually beneficial to me because it allowed me to get the full size in the vanilla, realize that I really, really like it. And then just having these minis was a good way to just kind of experience the brand, play with the colors. And then I really fell in love with that vanilla beige and would definitely be getting it in the future. And then I felt like it was really good to get the minis of the brown sugar and the poppy because I could see myself wanting to get the large size of the poppy because it just always looks so good on everybody else. And then I get kind of sucked in 
to that desire of wanting to love a color like this. So I'm glad that I got the mini and it just kind of solidified the fact that this type of color does not look very good on me. So I will probably pass this along to somebody else who might want to try that color as well. And I do actually really like brown sugar. This color does look pretty good on me with certain looks and probably when my skin is a little bit tanner, I think. Um, so I'm happy to have it. I just don't think I would get this in the full size. So I think that covers everything that I have purchased since my no buy ended in 2022, which ended in October. Got some things in Japan, purchased things in Black Friday, and I think that pretty much does it. So you guys are all up to speed in what I purchased. And then we talked a little bit about my no buy and the exception that I made for Earthwise Beauty, which I do not feel bad about at all, but I am back on my no buy. If this is the first that you're hearing about my no buy and you wanna learn more about why I did it and my whole process around that, I will definitely be linking that down below so you can check that out. And if this is the first time that you're here to my channel, I'm so glad that you stopped by and thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. And and for my next video, I am going to be talking about what is new in PR, what has been coming in and what I've been testing because I have some really lovely things that have been sent my way that I have been enjoying quite a bit. So I'm really looking forward to doing that video and I will see you in that next one. Bye.